Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So I have got a literally ginormous Sephora haul. So these are all brand new products at Sephora, all brand new released, super hyped up products. And there are quite a few in here that you guys have actually been asking for me uh, to review for a couple of weeks now. So I'm really, really excited to jump into this and show you. Um, I'm gonna show you this box. It, and it weighs a ton, like literally it is massive. Um, hi, it takes up the whole screen and I reckon it weighs there's a good 10 kilos of product in here. Like literally, <laughs> it's so heavy. Now, as always with these hauls, I really want you to let me know in the comments what products you are interested in seeing reviewed, what products you wanna see like a demo with in a tutorial, and also let me know what products that you are not interested in. Um, it helps me out and it definitely makes sure that anything that I'm reviewing here on my channel is exactly what you wanna see. So by all means, absolutely unleash down in the comments and let me know everything. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's jump straight into the video. I think we should stick with skincare. We'll do all the skincare first and then we will do the makeup. So first up, I have a couple of goodies from Peace Out. Um, this one here is actually a refill. You guys have heard me talk about the Peace Out acne dots before. They're little dots that you stick onto an acne spot. You leave them for six hours and it clears up acne spots so well. I love them. Um, I completely went through the last lot. So I've got another box of them here. I've spoken about them in videos before. You guys have heard me talk about them. Um, they just, they work really really well but they've also launched some other actual skincare products so this is the peace out acne serum I'm quite intrigued by these products because you know the little dots worked so well I'm convinced that their actual skincare products will work super well also so this has got 2% lactic acid niacinamide and vitamin C in it oh the packaging is actually really cute on this one that's what it looks like there uh, basically it says apply the product to the affected area for three days, um, basically until the acne spot's gone. Let's check out this formula. Oh, it's like a clear gel sort of a formula. Oh, nice and lightweight. Ooh, it smells potent. Oh, I like things that smell potent. I like feel like they work better. <laughs> and then also from Peace Out, their retinol eye stick. This also fascinates me. Uh, skip the lines, fine lines we mean. This non-irritated concentrated serum balm. And this is the thing that makes it really cool. It's like it's a serum, but it's actually kind of like a balm delivery thing. Uh, it fights tired aging skin by visibly smoothing out fine lines and wrinkles for firmer, smoother looking eyes. I love the delivery of this. Like it's so different to any other eye serum. It literally looks like a lip balm. Like, how cool is that? I'm so excited to try this. And I just feel like it, it, you know, it just makes it really easy to apply. Anything that makes it easier, I'm all about. So yeah, let me know if you want to see, um, you know, like a review. Even if you wanted to see like an overall brand review, they make some really, really cool products. They're very science inspired. And all the products that I've tried so far have been really effective. Next up, a newie from Votary. I love Votary. They make the most amazing facial oils. They're so luxurious and they just work so, so well. Uh, this is their new brightening hyaluronic serum you guys know how much i love hyaluronic acid so this one really caught my attention as well it's got the hyaluronic acid in it obviously but it's also got aha and glycolic acid to accelerate you know smoothing the skin and everything like that being that i have such enlarged pores uh, anything that's going to help resurface and smooth my skin again Makes me feel very excited. So this is what that one there looks like. Their products are very expensive, but they're honestly beautiful. Um, I'm very interested to see how this goes on my skin. Okay, next up some newies from Biosense. I love, 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 love Biosense. Their Squalene Rose, like vitamin C oil. Mm, absolutely obsessed. Like every time I've got it, I go through it entirely and then I have to repurchase it. That's another one that I need to put on the list to repurchase. Actually, can someone remind me, please? <laughs> But they have just launched this brand, brand newy. Uh, it's their Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum. Um, I read a lot of information about this one. It's a really targeted antioxidant serum. And some of the science and the studies that went into this just sounded like really like, wow. Like I'm, I'm so excited to try it out and see how it goes. So it says here that it will visibly diminish dark spots, uneven skin tone and sun damage. And you use one to two pumps um, just once daily. Um, yeah, really. And there were like some before and after pictures and stuff. And I was like, oh, like it looked so good. Packaging for this one is just like their normal Biosense packaging. Curious to see what the actual formula is like. Oh, it's quite a lightweight one, actually. Ooh. Oh, it's kind of got, 
Oh, does it have a scent? It's hard to tell because I have so many things on the back of my hand at this point. Very, very lightweight though. It doesn't feel like it would, you know, cause any stickiness or tackiness, which I love. Um, definitely going to circle back on the results I see with this one. I'm really excited to try it. And then this one here also from Biosense is their Lactic Acid Resurfacing Night Serum. Again, I've told you guys, anything that helps to resurface the skin, I always want to test it out. Um, it makes me feel quite excited. So this one has got 10% lactic acid to exfoliate the skin overnight. I'm going to keep this one in my little bedside table, um, test it out, and let you know how I go. All right, next up, and I'm quite... I'm quite intrigued by these products. I've had so many people um, requesting for me to test these and let them know what I think and whether or not they are actually any good. So Wishful is the Huda Beauty skincare brand. So this is a skincare brand that they came out with. Um, and these are kind of like two of their most popular products. So I've got these ones to test out first. So first up, uh, the Yo Glow Enzyme Scrub. Um, again, it's meant to, you know, resurface. It's got pineapple enzyme, papaya enzyme, AHA and BHA. So it's meant to retexturize, give you a really healthy glow. It's meant to brighten and even the skin tone. Like, honestly, I have had so many people asking me to test this. So, so, so many. So it's made in Korea. So I guess it's like considered Korean skincare. Um, quite nice packaging, actually. It's very cute. That is what it looks like. Very, very excited to try this. I will absolutely let you guys know what I think and results and, you know, whether or not it is worth all of the hype and, you know, everything that's kind of attached to anything related to Huda Beauty. And then this one here is the Get Even Rose Oil. Uh, what does this do? So this has got rose, carrot seed, rose hip, Baobab. I'm not quite sure what that uh, ingredient is in particular. So it's meant to lock in moisture, nourish the skin, smooth the skin, and even skin tone. Oh, that's got really cute packaging too. Love that. So it's like a little serum. Ah, uh, yep. So it's like a straight up oil. Ooh. Oh, okay. It's intensely perfumed. Have they actually... Oh, I don't know how I'm going to go. Look, I'll give it a go, but like... I can smell it from here. It's intensely, intensely fragranced. Um, oh, it might be a bit much for me. All right, next up, a couple of facial serums. Um, again, no one's going to be surprised by these choices. So firstly, from Peter Thomas Roth. This brand makes some really incredible, like, clinical skincare. Really, really good results. And I also love that they actually show, you know, like, they're quite transparent with the results that their products give, which I really love as well. But this is their Water Drench Hyaluronic Glow Serum. It's meant to give you 120 hours of hydration. That's nuts. 24... 48. That's five days of hydration. That's that's crazy. <laughs> um, it's meant to leave the skin moisturized and plump looking with a beautiful dewy glow. And it's for all skin types, which I really, really love. And then there's results here of like clinical studies that they've done. I'm just, I'm really, really intrigued. And like 120 hours. What? So their packaging is very clinical. Like I said, you know, they're very clinical kind of products. I'm very, very excited to test this. And then another facial serum from Youth to the People. I love this brand. So I think it was only last year that I first started testing out their products. They just work so, 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 so well. Uh, this is their new 15% vitamin C and clean caffeine energy serum. I really, really love it. They've got like this scrub that's like a microdermabrasion type scrub. I use it all the time and it just gives the most amazing like smoothing, brightening results on the skin. So I'm not going to be surprised if this also gives amazing results. This one's loaded with really amazing ingredients as well to help brighten the skin, even skin tone. I reduce the appearance of hyperpigmentation, firm the look of the skin, lots and lots of goodies. Oh yeah, it's quite plain packaging, glass bottle with a little white pump at the top there. All right, next up a couple of products from Milk Makeup. Did you know that Milk did skincare? I personally had no idea that Milk did skincare, so pretty excited to test these ones out. So this one is their Vegan Milk Moisturizer. I love this like super fun bright packaging. It's so cool. It's got argan milk, grapeseed oil, olive derived squalene, uh, shea butter, it's got fig milk, uh, it's just like it goes a jojoba, it just goes oh, aloe vera as well. The list goes on and on and on and on for ingredients in this. It sounds amazing. And the thing that I like about this is it's got this thing called micro droplet technology and basically it means that the skin can very quickly and rapidly absorb the ingredients and it doesn't leave the surface greasy. So I'm like, ooh. The actual jar reminds me of the e.l.f. skincare packaging. I'm not sure why 
I get those vibes, but I do. It's quite cute. Doesn't really have a scent to it. Oh, and it is a really nice lightweight formula too. Oh, it nearly like gives like a blurred effect on the skin. Oh, this one might act as a good primer. So excited to test it out. And then also from Milk, their Melatonin Overnight Lip Mask. So this one's an overnight lip mask that's going to uh, replenish, hydrate, calm, smooth, soften, and plump the lips. Yeah, cool. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of an overnight lip mask junkie. Like I'm obsessed with them. I, I love them. I like literally collect them. <laughs> oh, I think this one actually melted. I might have to sit it in the sun and melt it again so it's flat. Ooh. Smells pretty good. I'm currently using the Tarcha one, absolutely loving it. And then lastly for the skincare part, um, I've got a couple of new eye creams to test out. I'm really on like this crazy eye cream bandwagon. I'm trying to test as many as I can to do like a full kind of like eye cream review video. Um, I've got the one from Saturday Skin. This is the Wide Awake Brightening Eye Cream. This one's won a lot of awards, so I'm really excited to try it. And then also this one from Indie Lee, and this is their Restorative Eye Cream to Firm and Smooth. Um, I read a lot of really amazing reviews about this one as well. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll be testing them out. I'm just trying to speed this up because I realize I've been filming for ages already. And then a new facial SBF to try, and I'm really excited about this one too. It's literally like skincare with SBF in it. It sounds actually amazing. It's got spinach, green tea, and hyaluronic acid in it. So not only is it an SBF that protects, but it also delivers a lot of antioxidants. Um, it defends the skin. It gives you intense hydration. Like it just sounds amazing. The brand is Everyday Humans and it is called their Resting Beach Face. <laughs> I laugh every time I read that. I love a good pun. You guys know I love a good pun. Um, it's SPF 30 and the biggest thing is going to be whether or not it's going to be greasy and leave like a residue on my face. I hate SPFs that do that. Oh, it does feel really nice and lightweight on the back of my hand. Ooh, 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 we might have a winner here, guys. And it doesn't have like that overly SPF kind of a scent to it either. Ooh, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely test it and I will feedback how it goes and you know, what I think and stuff. Love the overall idea of it being like a skincare product though, really awesome. But moving on from skincare, we're gonna jump into the makeup now. I've got quite a few makeup items and some ones that I'm really, really actually quite excited to test out too. Okay, first up, a couple of mascaras that have just gone absolutely gangbusters on the internet. Um, these are so hyped about, everybody talks about how amazing it makes their lashes look loads of length loads of volume um so i'm very excited to test them both out so the first one is the kush mascara from milk makeup everybody talks about this you guys like literally everybody talks about this so it's meant to give you extreme extreme volume it's also got uh things in it to nourish and condition the lashes so to help you know them grow and things like that and it also catches curls and coats with an intense black formula for super defined clump free lashes. I'm not lying when I say like everybody raves on about this. So I'm like, oh, ooh, very heavy packaging. It's like made of metal. So I have a quick look at the brush. Oh yeah, so it's got a bristle brush. It doesn't look too oversized actually, not bad. I will absolutely test this and I will absolutely let you guys know if it smudges on my oily skin. Very, very curious to see the results. And then also another mascara that you guys have been asking for me to test out for ages is the one from Huda Beauty. This is her Legit Lashes. Also meant to give you, it says, the best lashes. So major volume, dramatic curl, and insane length. Um, it's also meant to be completely smudge proof. So we'll see how it goes. And the before and after pictures on the actual thing look crazy. Like, they just, like, that girl's lashes look completely, completely different. Um, yeah, I will test out both of these mascaras and I will let you know. Um, let me know in the comments though, like I said at the start of the video, which one you want to see first, you know, which one you're most excited about. Um, let me know. Also for the eyes, I picked up the new Velua Lash and Go. Uh, this is an eyelash adhesive that's mixed into eyeliner. Curious about this. So apparently you just apply this like a normal eyeliner. You, you know, you can even do like a full wing and your eyelashes will apparently stick to it. It's not like a magnetic eyeliner. It's actually like lash glue in an eyeliner. So you need to apply the lashes while it's still wet. And then apparently once it's dry, um, it's not tacky anymore. I feel like it's super gimmicky and I feel like it's not going to work, but I really wanted to test it out anyway. I just like, I'm just like, how? Does it, does it really work? All right, next up, I've got the new one size face primer. Um, this is called the Secure the Blur. 
and it's a magnet primer so I guess it's meant to make your makeup really stick to your skin so ultra blurring pore refining primer with niacinamide to mattify and even out the skin's texture and grip onto makeup very very curious about this one so that there is what the packaging looks like I always love to test a good primer I love primers. And then also for the cheeks, I have a couple of highlighters and a couple of blushes here. Um, I do have some Ofra ones to show you. They're not stocked at Sephora, but I am pretty excited about these and I'm curious to know what you guys think. Um, so the brand new collab product, um, this is a highlighter from Ofra. They have done a collaboration with Steph Toms and they've launched this new highlighter. It's called Milk and Cookies and apparently it actually smells like milk and cookies. So let's actually test this out on camera. Does it really smell like milk and cookies? Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Oh wow, that is stunning. Like the actual color. Oh my God. Ofra highlighters are just so creamy and smooth. Oh, I think I'm going to be obsessed with this. I'm not going to lie, but let's smell it. It actually does. Oh, it smells really, really yummy. Definitely smells like milk and cookies. <laughs> Yeah, I cannot wait to try this. So excited. Congratulations to Steph. Like, you've done an amazing job. And then this newie here from Becca is also a highlighter, but it's actually like a skin tint moisturizer. It gives sheer buildable coverage, but apparently it's got light shifting pigments in it to reflect and diffuse the light to help illuminate the skin and give like a really dewy glow, but without like being greasy kind of a thing. I'm really, really curious. It's like a tinted moisturizer that makes you super glowy. Um, a lot of people are talking about this, so I really wanted to test it out. It's called the Becca Light Shifter. I'm not sure if I said that. Hopefully I got the right shade, all but two. It does look like it's going to work, actually. We'll see how we go. Okay, also from Becca, their new Light Shifter Finishing Veil. So this is a finishing powder that's got sheer buildable coverage, so it is a tinted powder as well. Um, but it's got these same light shifting pigments in it that absorb and reflect the light, creating a really satin radiant finish. Oh, cute packaging. That's really cool. I love products that like reflect light and things like that. I think they're really awesome. Oh, it nearly looks like it should be like a cream foundation. What kind of texture have we got? Oh yeah. Oh, very, very smooth. So it's like a tinted, like it's a low coverage, buildable sheer foundation kind of a thing that gives the skin an amazing glow. Um, the pictures on the Becca website look absolutely like nuts. Like it just looks beautiful on the skin. Very excited to see how it goes. Okay, next up, some more goodies from Ofra. They came out with liquid blushes. I love liquid blushes so much. I love the finish on the skin and I just love the way that they wear. So I am super, super excited to test these. So they're only brand, brand new. I've got three shades here. Um, shall we swatch one? I think that we should. Let's swatch this one here. It is called Loyal. Love that. So it's meant to be like a really, really beautiful, creamy, blendable, sort of sheer-ish formula that looks super natural on the skin. Um, I'm excited to like really, really give this one a go. Oh, it definitely is. Oh, look at that there. Wow. And it's giving like the skin like this sort of like blurred appearance. I'm so excited to test these, you guys. Um, Ofra makes the most amazing products, honestly. Um, and if you are interested in picking up anything from Ofra, I do still have a discount code with them. I'll pop it on the screen. It gives you 30% off anything on their website. Um, honestly, I would jump on top of getting this highlighter. I think it's going to sell out really quick. It's beautiful. And then lastly for the cheeks before we move on to palettes, the rest of the things that I've got to show you are eyeshadow palettes. Um, I picked up one of the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek. These are creamy sheer blushes. It's meant to give like a really, really light tint. So I thought it would be cool to try one of these. These are also really, really popular as well. Oh, it's got like a plastic cap on it. Is that what that is? Oh, that's kind of annoying. It had a plastic cap on it and... It was like smooshed up against the product and now the product's like all banged up on top. Anyway, let's have a little go of it. Oh, that one is so pretty. So it gives like a very sheer tint to the skin. Can also be used on the lips and it also hydrates. So very curious to see how my oily skin goes with this. And then like I said, the rest of the stuff I have here is eyeshadow palettes. So I'll quickly show each of these. Let me know which one you want to see in a tutorial or whether or not you want to see like a proper swatch and review video. Uh, let me know. So first up, a mini palette from Natasha Denona. I love the look of this one. You guys know I love anything pink. 
can't help myself. Um, so this is her mini love palette. The colors in this are just gorgeous. Like it's it's very kind of like a Valentine's Day theme. It's just beautiful. So that is what that one there looks like. Let me know if you are keen to see it in action. Pretty much anything pink. I'm like, I need you. You complete me. <laughs> this one here from the Sephora collection looked so, so gorgeous. So this is the pocket palette. Um, it's basically warm brown tones in it. It's really nice. I'm having a real moment with mini palettes. I just love mini palettes. I just think, I don't know, they're so much easier for people to use. But this is what that one looks like. Really, really beautiful and looks really simple to use. Like, you know, colors that pair together really well will definitely make a really, really romantic, gorgeous eye look. And you can like, you know, mix and match so many different colors. Um, Very, very pretty. Very excited to try. And then this one here is this ginormous neutral palette from Tarte. This is called the Tarte Juicy Palette. I'm not necessarily sure what's juicy about all these neutrals. I love neutrals, but I don't get like the juicy attachment. It does look very, very pretty though. Um, again, anything pink, I love. Mm, it actually smells delicious too. Very, very pretty. I look at this and I see bridal makeup. Like it's just so soft and gorgeous and looks like it'll be very easy to create any kind of eyeshadow look with as well. Just stunning and so excited to test this one out. So let me know if you want to see like it in a tutorial or yeah, let me know. And actually speaking of Tarte, um, they came out with this cute little like gift set of minis of their palettes. Like I said, I'm having a real moment with mini palettes. I think they actually launched this one at Christmas time. It might've been part of their Christmas collection, um, but it's got a mini little bloom, a mini little toasted, and then also a little juicy. So a small mini version of that juicy palette. Yeah, I got this. I don't know. I just, I love nine pans. I love minis. They're just so easy. Um, yeah, I wanted it. Okay. And then last but not least, and this one is not actually available at Sephora, but I'm so, so excited about it. Um, the brand new Laura Lee Los Angeles Nudie 2 palette. So this is like a sexier, deeper, darker kind of nude palette to her original Nudie Petunia palette. I love Laura and I love her brand and I'm just so excited about this because honestly, the colors look insane. <sighs> I need it in me. I need it all over me. I need it now. I love it. So really, really beautiful neutral palette. There is a great mixture of mattes and shimmers and some nice deep dark colors for creating like more of like a smoky look as well. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. I loved the formula of her original one. So excited to try this. So there you go, guys. That is it for our massive haul today. I feel like I've been talking at you for hours, um, but like I said at the start of the video, let me know which of these products you want to see reviewed first, what you're interested in, what you are not interested in. There was a lot of skincare in today because I just feel like I'm playing a lot more with skincare than necessarily makeup lately. Um, so yeah, let me know all of your thoughts, what you want to see reviews on first and yeah. Just come say hi in the comments and give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. I hope that you did. I love a good long haul. It's good to make a coffee and just sit with a snack and just watch it. So yes, I love you guys heaps. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will catch you all in my next one. Bye.